Hey, Terry, what's going on? How you doing? I'm doing fine, Michael, and how about you? Everything is everything. So don't date cops, huh? Do not date a cop. Really? Mm. Majority of men in uniforms, even if it's a sanitation worker, but cops are notorious. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not get on the sanitation, mm. the garbage man now. The garbage man now. can't be trusted. He ain't got to move fast. Mm-hmm. Well, you don't have time to get off the truck. Run into the woman's house, handle your business, come out, get on the truck, and catch it before it get down I'm the block. I'm just saying, a man in uniform. <laughs> <laughs> is the the totem pole is the cop. Have you ever been cheated on by a cop, ma'am? No, I've never been cheated on by a cop. Nope. What about by a sanitation worker? I'd rather not discuss it. What about a transit worker? That for perhaps CTA, Chicago oh, yeah. Transit. Transit okay. workers. Oh, I forgot about them. Oh, they're up there too. <laughs> Everybody got something to say about transit workers. Mm-mm-mm. And I know, I used to be one. Uh, yeah, let me just tell the real story. We're very wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> Dre is calling in to defend the cops, George. Uh-oh. Finally, a cop calling in to defend other cops. This is the call Mm-mm-mm-mm. I've been waiting on. What's up, yes. Dre? Yeah, George, y'all, y'all can't shoot us down like that. Now y'all got to stick up for your brothers in blue. No, no, no. We didn't, we say, didn't, we we didn't say, it. say it. We said that's what the women that I met on my trip said. Well, you should stop letting them call, call in. So wait a minute, wait a minute now, Dre. I couldn't turn around to a woman I didn't know and say, excuse me, ma'am, cops are all very faithful. I couldn't do that. No. I, I can't say that either. But no. <laughs> right. So what do you say about well, cops? you know what? I, I don't think it is that women flock towards that, that uniform and, you know, the that uniform. look and image. And, yeah. and, I, and I can't say that's not true, but in the end, it's up to... The individual, you know, you always Isn't it a security always, thing, too, though? Yeah. I mean, he's a cop, he's going to protect me, he has a gun, you know. But, Mike, you always hear it's the guy. You don't ever hear about the women, cops. Ooh. Oh. Whoa, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Huh? Well, I mean, I'm sure they got their little dark side, too. You know, it ain't all us. You know, we, mm-hmm. we get the bad rap, because <laughs> we're, we're more out there with I'm it. I'm flashing back we, on the lady know, cop. I, know, I know you are. I know you are. Stand by, Dre. Yeah. Uncuff yourself. Lady cops, you've been put on blast. <laughs> See, Miss Vic is on right now, George. She's trying to put radio personalities and comedians on blast. What? Yes. You got to Say it ain't so, Miss Vic. Oh, uh, I'm going to say it is so. God, look, look, this is, I'm joking. This has turned out into some beefing sh- What did I do and George do not right. to allow you to trust us? I was only, I was only kidding, but you know, y'all got this like the school teachers, too. Who up under y'all did? That's the question. <laughs> First of all, ma'am, we don't work at a desk. <laughs> huh? <laughs> We don't work at a desk. It's just a chair and a microphone. Anything happens, it's got to happen in front of everyone. Mm. We, don't, we don't have she that problem. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Thomas said he would not date a, a stripper, George. Why not, Tom? Come on, Thomas. Come on, man. Well, let me tell you. I, I, I've tried it, and uh, at the end of the night, it, it doesn't work, man. It doesn't work. I actually DJed in a strip club. Mm-hmm. So... I know the inside. I've seen the inside. Meaning what? Of what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by know, seeing the inside? Know, Please be more I specific. Many, I know how many fingertips touch the body. Okay, Thomas, let me ask you this. For a woman, you have you ever met a professional? Yes, do, we, do, we do have a, there's a couple of them. Now, would you, date, would you date that one? Uh, at the end of the night, no, I couldn't do it. Why? Mentally, I couldn't do it. What do you, do you mean think mentally? it has more to do with your insecurity or Thank what you. she does? It, what she does. It, there's a lot that comes with it. You know, well, this, Michael this just gave you a scenario. I just of a, gave you a scenario of a woman who was a professional, right. Thomas, and you already know she's just professional. Why wouldn't you date her? The professionals have stalkers. You know Anybody I mean? can okay. get a stalker. Come He's, on, dude. Right. I mean, George has had stalkers. For and so has Michael. Thank he you very much, currently. <laughs> <laughs> I got John on from New York. Loves exotic dancers, George. Just a guy you can talk to. All right. Hey, John. Hey, what's going on? Hey, would you date an exotic dancer? I was, man, we're like this one. I'll marry one. <laughs> 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 well, why, what's so funny about that? Uh, nothing. No, nothing. the fact I that you're it. so honest about it. I love it. You <laughs> sound like I have their children. Good marriages that involve professionals making millions of dollars go bad. That's true. And bad marriages... It involve people that have no money go good. You know what I'm saying? If I find a young lady that I feel is appropriate for me to invest or try to invest the rest of my life yep. and she got it going on in the physical department, why should I not try that? If it don't work, it don't work. I can always get a divorce and find now, another exotic like dance. What do you say to... Uh, <laughs> wow, you ready to trade them in kind of quick there, John, but what do no, you say no, to... No, 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 no. I'm not trading them in quick. I'm saying if it don't work. Got I'll you. tell you what. I ain't spending a lifetime trying to make sure it works. Got though. you. Your point is that you would date another one if that didn't work mm-hmm. out. If it didn't work out, I, I, I could date another one. Now, I don't know if I can argue with David on this one, George. I All don't right. know that I can date a, a person who worked in the adult movie industry. Oh, no. I could. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, 
ahead, David. What's going on? No, like, I would date a stripper. One, I'm an up there alternative, alternative lifestyle. Right. But a porn star, uh-uh, can't do it. Somebody no. that works in the adult movie industry, there, there's no way. Look, I, obviously. They can detach themselves. I can okay, no. everybody stop. George. <laughs> George. <laughs> it's a job. George. Jesus Christ. George. I'll date you. <laughs> I know you know how to separate business from pleasure, Jesus George, Christ. George. <laughs> and I can date you at work as well. <laughs>